All right, guys, I'm gonna take you through your workout for tomorrow. I thought the camera wasn't going for a second. But yeah, I'm gonna take you through your workout for tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be nice and long, because that's what we like on Saturday. So, uh, let's go through the warm up first. So we're gonna do 10, we're gonna do a five minute AMRAP actually first. Uh, just get our heart rate up and do a bit of mobility. So the first thing we're gonna do is 10 pause sumo squats. So I'm gonna place my feet nice and wide, feet turned out. I'm gonna squat down. Try and get as low as I can, pushing my knees back. Pause for one second, stand all the way back up. 10 of those. Then I'm going to do 10 plank shoulder taps. So I'm going to come into a plank position. I'm going to squeeze my glutes. You can point your toes and go onto your toes if you want. A little bit of added difficulty. If not, you can go like this or put them a bit wider. And you're going to tap your shoulder. Trying to keep your hips as stable as you can. And you're pushing the ground away. So you're rounding your upper back and you're spreading your fingers, so you're not putting all the stress through your wrist joint, you're actually distributing it through your entire hand. So 10 of those per shoulder. And then you're going to do 10 hip openers per side. We're gonna do this in standing, so it's the same thing we did a couple days ago with Jeff, but now we're gonna do it in standing. You're gonna bring your knee up, you're gonna rotate out, and then you're gonna tip your foot up, and then you're gonna come back into this position and you're gonna bring your knee forward and back down. Again, we'll do it one more time. So I'm bring my leg up. I'm gonna open up laterally. My hips are still trying to face forward. And then I'm gonna tip and have my heel come up. And I'm trying to keep this at 90 degrees. Then I go back into this position, back to this position and down. So we're kind of warming up our hip flexor and getting our joint moving a bit. So 10 per side of that. And then you're just moving through that for five minutes. Then we're going straight into a dumbbell warm up. So you can use a dumbbell, kettlebell, random object, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna demonstrate um, with a dumbbell and just one in my hand because we're gonna do this eight per side with just one. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is eight dumbbell deadlifts, send hips back. I'm gonna hold the end of my dumbbell because that's like. I like to do, and you have to go as far down if you do this. So just one double head hits the ground, using both arms down, eight dumbbell deadlifts from side, core is nice and tight. I'm setting my hips as far as I can, and I'm nice and stable. Then I'm going to do eight hanging power cleans. So you can come from in between your legs on the other side. So double this, eight hanging power cleans up to your shoulder. So you use your hips and legs to drive the dumbbell up and then you catch with that legs, and then you stand all the way up. So we don't want to reverse curl, we really want to use that momentum from our legs. Then you're going to do eight front squats, so resting the dumbbell on your shoulder. You're going to squat down, so from the front, pushing your knees out, and then standing back up. Remember, we send our hips back first, our foot stays in full contact with the ground, try to keep our torso as upright as possible, and then we stand all the way up. And then the last thing you do, is eight strip press. So core nice and tight. We're starting from this front row position, pressing all the way up overhead. So my bicep goes to my ear, not my ears, my bicep, and then back down, dumbbell touches shoulder. You do eight per side of all those movements, and then we're done a warm up. So I'm gonna go into the workout. I'm hoping it's gonna take 25. 30-ish minutes, but we'll see. So we are gonna do 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Double dumbbell clusters, gonna be good. Ab mat sit-ups and push-ups. And in between each of those, you have to run 200 meters, a row 250 meters, or depending on the bike erg, we will go over what those options are. Um, I think it says in the notes, but I think it's 500 meters for the biker. So, um, let's go over this workout now. Um, so, double dumbbell cluster. So, I'm going to have two dumbbells here. I'm going to start with one dumbbell head touching the ground. Okay? My back is flat, my hips are down, as opposed to this position here. Then I have no power for my legs. So, I'm going to tuck my butt under. I'm going to drive from the ground into a squat position and then I'm going to press up into a thruster. Both dumbbells overhead, my elbows are locked up 
and I'm pushing up as my pushing the sky away from collapsing on me. Again, one double on the ground, my butt I tuck it under so I can use my legs and my hips, my arms are straight, I drive up, I catch it in a squat, and then out of this position I use the momentum to pop it off my shoulder and press overhead. I have to squeeze my thighs. So no rebend there. Then we are going, I'm out of breath, holy God. Okay, <laughs> then we are going to do, then right after you would do 10 of those, you do 10 ab mass sit-ups. I'm just gonna demonstrate a normal sit-up. So you know your feet like this, like this, it doesn't matter. As long as we're trying to get our torso to pass our hips. That's the goal of this. So we're gonna reach down and back so that I touch the ground and then come all the way through so that my shoulders are past my hips. That's a normal standard. Um, but that's how I do it, I just reach my ankles. We all know how to do an ab mass sit-up. Then we're gonna do 10 push-ups. We're gonna be after that. So again, you have options. You go from your knees. You are still squeezing your bum. Your hands are placed directly under your shoulders and you're sending your elbows back so you can create twists to your shoulder. And then you push up from your feet. Same option. You can also do it with your hands up on an elevated surface or you can do it with a band around your elbows, but we can talk about that in class. Then you are doing your run or row or bike. Then I would go to nine, eight, seven, six, all the way to one. So obviously for the first 10 to six um, rounds of this, I think as you get done 44, no, that doesn't make sense. 44 or 45 reps out of the 55 total per movement. So that's where the most of the work is. So that's when you'll be taking, maybe strategically, taking a little bit of breaks between the movements. The push-ups I might break up as I'm not that strong as push-ups in like probably two to three sets as you're doing 55 total. Um, but dumbbell clusters hopefully is a weight that you might be holding on to or you're doing like one to two sets. Um, yeah, and then you are running or rowing. So it's gonna be good. Um, at the end, we're gonna do a bit of mobility. So we're gonna do a, a chest opener. So we can do it on the ground or on the wall. You're gonna lay your hand out. I just kicked it. It's very bright in here, sorry. So you're gonna keep your arm out. You can put it up a bit if you want more of a chest stretch. You're gonna roll onto that side until you feel a nice stretch in the front of your pec here, so front of shoulder. Okay, your shoulder has to be in contact with the ground, so I'm gonna roll it down so it's touching the ground first, then roll over. We're gonna spend about a minute. You can move in and out of it. You can reach your hand behind your back. And just play with it there. We're gonna do one minute per side. Um, and then we're just gonna do a nice pitted stretch. From this position here, I'm gonna pull my leg forward. My back leg is straight behind me. I'm going to sit up tall for this, actually. I'm gonna try and do this actively. So I'm gonna try and push the ground away for five seconds, and then I'm gonna try and sink a bit lower and hold for five. Then I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna push the ground away for five, and I'm gonna sink a bit lower for five. And we are going to do that again for one minute, just alternating between five active and five passive. See you tomorrow, guys.